Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and today we are talking about the top 10 harshest prison sentences ever given to teenagers. This video is actually pretty sad but before we get into it I want to ask you guys what is the worst punishment that you've ever been given? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also while you're down there why don't you leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. Ok coming into number 10 we have Serena Vella who was jailed for skipping school. 11th grader Serena loves Harry Potter, Katy Perry and was sent to jail for cutting school. The Texan teen was struggling and she simply couldn't face it. Now Serena is from a low income home and her mother is unemployed. She received fines from her school for truancy totaling $2,700. Because she couldn't pay she was sent to jail for 10 days. In jail she was thoroughly searched and locked up amongst adults who committed serious crimes. Now ironically Serena had to miss 9 days of school while she was behind bars which resulted in her being expelled. Which is really really sad. What kind of system locks up a teenager for skipping school rather than finding out what is causing the problem? This teenager was arrested and faced 20 years in jail for posting lyrics to a rap song on Facebook at number 9. In June 2013, 18 year old Cameron D'Ambrosio was arrested in Massachusetts for posting a rap verse on his Facebook page. The aspiring rapper referenced the Boston bombings which happened that year which a lot of people found very distasteful. They wrote lyrics that went, F a Boston bombing B, wait till you see that shit. I'ma be famous for rapping and be every murder charge that comes across me. Right. The kid did find fame, but not for rapping, for being thrown in jail for a Facebook post. The teen faced 20 years for making terror threats. Coming in at number 8 we have Gonalo Wilson who got 10 years for having consensual oral sex with another teenager. In 2005 17 year old Gonalo Wilson had consensual oral sex with another teenager at a new years eve party. I guess it happens. The teenage girl was 2 years younger than him at 15 years old. Despite the girl whose name is protected repeatedly telling the courts that the act was consensual, Wilson was sentenced to 10 years in jail which is pretty insane. Legally as the girl was 15 she couldn't consent. However, provisions could have been taken into account had they had full penetrative sex, but there's no such legislature for oral sex. Luckily for Wilson, he was released after serving four years, but honestly, this is insane. Coming in at number 7, we have 20 years for a Daytona teenager. Kay Andrea Cook's sentencing was very dramatic and very sad. This 17 year old was sentenced to spend the next two decades of her life in prison for carjacking and battery. The girl used a dating app to set up a robbery which resulted in her boyfriend shooting a man who was wounded but didn't die. Kay Andrea was told by her attorney that she wouldn't receive jail time if she pleaded guilty to her part of the involvement in the crime. The video of the girl sentencing in 2017 went viral as people watched her and her mother break down. Slightly better news for Kay Andrea came in 2018 when a judge amended her super harsh sentence to 11 years. The teen and many others still feel that she was wrongly advised by her defence team in the first place. Coming in at number 6 we have Blake Lehman who got 55 years for breaking and entering. Blake Lehman was 16 years old and living in a small town in Indiana when he made a bad decision that would land him in jail for 55 years. The teenager had a clean record and had not been in trouble with the law before. However his whole life changed one night. Lehman and a group of slightly older friends including 21 year old Danzel Washington got high and decided on a whim to break into a home. They noticed that their neighbour Rodney Scott's grey truck was missing, they assumed he was out. Assuming the coast was clear they broke into his house and although they were unarmed and for all intent and purpose, actually it turned out very 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 badly. It seems that Scott was not out, he was upstairs sleeping and he was awoken by the trespassers. In classic America style he came downstairs with a shotgun and shot at Lehman and Washington. The older boy died from his injuries. Now Indiana law protected the shooter Rodney Scott from culpability in the murder and instead the teenage boy was charged with felony murder. All Lehman did was foolishly decide to break into a neighbours home unarmed but his friend ended up being killed by the neighbour, the blame then fell on Lehman who was if we remember also shot. He was sentenced to 55 years in a prison cell. Coming in at number 5 we have the teen jailed for life for killing her child predator. Centoya Brown's case is still ongoing and has received a lot of media attention. In 2004 Centoya was served a life sentence aged just 16 
Dean for murdering a man in Nashville. Sintoya killed a 43 year old man who'd paid to have sex with her. The teenager's childhood was marked by abuse, she was raped and forced into prostitution. Last year, pop star Rihanna spoke up for Sintoya on social media. She shared a text image saying, Imagine at the age of 16 being sex trafficked by a pimp named Cutthroat. After days of being repeatedly drugged and raped by different men, you were purchased by a 43 year old child predator who took you to his home to use you for sex. You end up finding enough courage to fight back and shoot and kill him. You are arrested as a result, tried and convicted as an adult and sentenced to life in prison. This is the story of Sintoya Brown. She'll be eligible for parole when she's 69 years old. Now, The last I heard, with the support of major celebrities, she is now facing a parole board. Coming into number 4 we have Kenneth Young who was given 4 sentences for robbery. Kenneth Young received an insane amount of time behind bars for a series of armed robberies he committed in the year 2000. The then 15 year old had been raised in a low income neighbourhood by a drug addicted mother. He was told by a 24 year old crack cocaine dealer, Jacques Bertha, that his mother would be killed if he didn't assist him in the robberies. When captured for his involvement in a string of robberies, he was given a shocking and unprecedented 4 life sentences, despite nobody being seriously injured or killed from his actions. In 2011, he went before a judge for resentencing. Instead of releasing the young man who had already served 11 years, his sentence was changed down to 30 years, which I still think is extremely harsh. Coming into number 3, we have Bobby Bostick, who got 241 years for a string of robberies. Like many of the teenagers on this list, Bobby was born in a poor family. Growing up in Missouri, he started smoking and drinking age 10. Age 11, he started stealing cars. In 1995, when he was 16, he robbed do gooders at gunpoint for money at Christmas time. One of his victims was grazed by a bullet. Now, this obviously is an awful crime, but Bostick received an unprecedented 241 years in jail for his crimes that didn't actually kill anyone. You guessed it, he was denied a plea deal and was met with the full fury of Judge Baker, who said, You made your choice and you're gonna die with your choice because Bobby Bostick, you will die in the Department of Corrections. Harsh. 241 years for a teenager who is told that they're gonna die in jail. Honestly, it's insane. Bostick has given a number of interviews about what it was like growing up in prison. Now, the judge involved has even said that she regrets giving him the sentence, saying the amount of time is ridiculous. Coming into number two, we have Travian Blount, who got 268 years. Blount was handed six life sentences for robbery in 2006. At the time, the 15 year old held up a Norfolk house party with two 18 year olds. Nobody was harmed and no shots were fired. The teens did steal marijuana and cell phones as well as a small amount of cash. The jury convicted the teen for 49 separate felonies and Blount argued he wasn't guilty of all of them. He was given 6 life sentences plus 118 years, totaling 268 years, which is outrageously harsh considering that nobody was seriously hurt, let alone killed. Blount fought his case, but his co defendants got just 14 years as they accepted plea deals. Deals, which I think is really unfair. In 2014, he was given a partial pardon with his sentence reduced to 40 years. He still has another 29 years to go while his co defendants will be out soon. That's what you get for trying to fight your innocence within a system rooted against you. Finally, at number one, we have the death penalty given to a girl for killing her rapist. What kind of world are we living in where a man shoots a kid dead and he gets let off for self defense even when the kid wasn't armed, and across the world, a different teenager is sentenced to death for killing a man who repeatedly raped her. It goes to show that the justice system in the United States is just as broken as it is in Sudan, a third world country. Amnesty International were fighting for 19 year old Nora Hussein Haman's life after she was handed the death sentence by a Sudanese court. The teenager was married against her will aged 16. She refused to consummate her marriage, so her husband got his two brothers and his cousin involved to hold her down while he raped her. The next day, he tried to rape her again, but she escaped to the kitchen. As he cornered her, she grabbed a knife and stabbed him, fatally wounding him. She's been in a women's prison awaiting death since 2017. So, guys, that was the top 10 harshest prison sentences given to teenagers. I just want to point out how many of these kids treated in this way were people of color. Injustice does seem to be skin deep when you compare the time some of these kids got to sentences given to more privileged white teenagers. This isn't something I'm saying to be controversial, it's just a fact. We need to 
do more to protect these children. We need to protect the way they're treated. The way they're treated shouldn't be decided by their race. Simple as that. So guys, what do you think? Were these sentences fair? Let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, we love reading out your comments. We love the fact that you write them. So we love reading them. And before I end up this video, I'm going to read some comments from the cursed pictures you should never look at. Cute Ken Mendolia said, like the moon background, hi it's Rebecca, love you and then she sent some kissy emojis so I just want to say thanks, hi. Our channel sponsor Tom Carpenter said, well done most amazing top 10 for getting to 4 million subscribers. My favourite videos are all of the dumbest tweets. Yes, we love them, they're very good and thank you Tom for sponsoring the channel. Potato Head said, my stomach legit started feeling weird after looking at the Peggy picture. Ugh, maybe a curse mate, don't know what to say. There we go, I don't think you are though, you're probably just feeling weird because you had too many potatoes today, who knows. Ok guys, thank you for watching this video, once again don't forget to let me know what you thought to it in the comments section down below, leave a thumbs up if you like this kind of prison content, share it with a friend and stay subscribed for more most amazing lists. Bye!